just the other day, I um, managed to get my Linux distributions back up and running. I am currently running VirtualBox, and within VirtualBox, I have four distributions of Linux. They are Ubuntu Hardy Heron 804, PC Linux uh, 2007, OpenSUSE 10.3, and Mint Linux uh, version 5, ELIZA. Of those four, I would say I like Ubuntu the best, but I'm looking closely at OpenSUSE and Mint as well. I like OpenSUSE because um, overall I haven't had any problems with it. There's one little issue that I'm having, and it's nothing to do with the distribution. It is, it is with the emulator, and I might be able to figure that out. I just downloaded the manual earlier, and as soon as I have more time, I'll sit down and take a reread of the section that I found this in. But essentially, what they said was, um, it had something to do with the um, with the X server or something, which makes sense. I mean, X and Y, the coordinates of uh, lines on a graph, basically what what your X and Y uh, span for the pixels is. And if, for those of you who are not into that sort of thing, basically it, it's how big your screen is. And um, I can't get it to go above 800 by 600. Um, but again, like I said, I'm going to try and get that worked out. And of course, I'm sure there are several of you on YouTube who could help me. And I welcome that help. Um, you take that aside, though, because, again, that's a generic problem that has nothing to do with the distributions. Um, I would have to say, as far as my favorite, it would tie between OpenSUSE and Ubuntu. Um, overall, my experience with Linux has been very positive. I just, I love Linux. I love the free and open source concept. Um, and I like that, uh, well, get this, okay. A... Linux system, if you were to excuse me, <coughs> hmm, hard, Ugh. anyway, if you were to put on the bare minimum requirements for a truly efficient Linux OS, for example, the EPC has rather what we would consider nowadays to be bare minimum requirements. And yet, using Linux, they were able to com they were able to um, they were able to um, come up with a customized user interface that is quick, that is simple to use, that is efficient to use, and that is stable. That's one of the beauties of Linux is the fact that it's so flexible that you can do practically anything you want with it. You could build a Linux distribution to, you know, like be a wrist PDA, or even if you had the proper hardware set up, you could probably build a distribution to control your house. Um, that would be a good combat for Microsoft's um, home offering. I'm not exactly sure what they call it. But anyway, that's the beauty of Linux. That's the fact that it's so flexible, that it's open, that it's free. As far as desktop distributions go, I absolutely love it. You don't have to go out to a store to get a piece of software. You just download it from a, from the, from the uh, repositories. So, you know, it's just very efficient, very um, easy to use once you get the hang of it. One very important thing to keep in mind about Linux is that it is not Windows and it is not Macintosh. It does require a learning curve and you have to be willing to take the time to sit down and try it. And that's actually why I have four distributions running because also no distribution is right for everyone. You have to see which one is, is best for you. And right now for me it's a tie between OpenSUSE and Ubuntu. Um, Depending on which of the two I could get to work on a piece of hardware better, I'd probably go with OpenSUSE um, or Ubuntu, or maybe even dual boot with both. Um, basically, I can't make up my mind. I both like them equally well. Uh, PC Linux, I uh, had a couple of issues with, and it had to do primarily with uh, the window size. When I enlarged the font, 
uh, some things got cut off, which made it a little bit tricky to work with. So PC, in terms of 1, 2, 3, um, I would have to say Ubuntu, OpenSUSE, and PC. Ubuntu is first because it has accessibility built right in for the visually impaired. Um, the second would be PC, Linux, OpenSUSE, excuse me, because um, it's very easy to work with and, and it just... The fact that it's uh, published by, or supported by Novell, I mean, they are the people who make the, you know, the Netware login client, you know, that that's a pretty good system. At least for my school it was. Excuse me. It was a very good system. Uh, so Novell backing OpenSUSE and Canonical backing Ubuntu, you know, those are the two main reasons why I like them as, the, as my top two of the three, of the top three. Um... But if you're going to learn, if you're going to sit down and try Linux, you have to be willing to keep an open mind, keep, you know, change, be open to change and so forth. I love Linux for the fact that it is open and the fact that, you know, in a way it's all you. I mean, you do what you want. You can customize everything about the operating system. Not just, you can customize the interface, you can customize you know the bootloader you can customize everything about it it's just fantastic to work with once you get the hang of it i hope to uh, con i hope to uh, get back into learning the terminal soon i was i started and i had to quit and i kind of forgot what i learned unfortunately because again the emulators have been gone down for so long i tried to get back into it with the macintosh because they use this very similar uh, darwin which is open source as well so they use a very similar terminal to Linux, but it's not quite the same. Uh, so that presented a few problems. But now that Linux is up and running, I'm more than willing to learn the terminal again. But the point I'm trying to make is, with Linux, it's fantastic, but you have to be willing to learn. And you have to be willing to keep an open mind. Um, and if you're going to come from Windows, I would suggest doing a dual boot first with a relatively large hard drive or maybe even install a second hard drive and put Linux on that second hard drive and go through a guided installation uh, if you're going to put it in a second hard drive that's no problem you can go ahead and use uh, the full drive but if you're going to use um, if you're going to use a single drive for both then you will need a guided installation and there are several things in the forums for OpenSUSE and Ubuntu that can help so, you know, support is not necessarily one big company. It's a community of users. Linux is built by a community of users. It's, it's by the user for the user. What class of user? Well, that depends on your distribution because there are over 200 known uh, that I know of that, um, and I can't think of all of them offhand. It's impossible to remember all the names, but that I counted over 200 at one point from distrowatch.com. Um, 200 different Linux distributions, each with a different purpose. Some are general consumer, some are administrator, some are, you know, network managing clients. There's a whole different ocean of Linux distributions for different purposes. So, you know, different distributions are meant for different people and different purposes. You have to be willing to try it, keep an open mind. If you're willing to do that, I can safely say that my Linux experience overall has been extremely positive. I would certainly recommend it to those who are willing to give it a shot. Search around for the distribution that's right for you. Try several of them. You know, burn a couple of live CDs from the ISO files, and the ISO is basically the operating system. You take that file, burn it to disk, you install, you put it in your computer when the computer's off, uh, like by, you know, pin ejecting from the drive. You put it in your computer, turn it on, it boots, you can try it without installing onto your system, see if you like it, and if you like it, you can go ahead and install. But try different distributions, see what works, and if you're willing to do all of these things, then I can safely say that my Linux experience, my Linux experience, has been very positive. If you're going, if you need accessibility, go with Ubuntu, um, or Solaris, something with GNOME, um, you know, and just have fun with it. Be willing to explore and have fun. Uh, thank you for uh, watching. Comments and questions are welcome, and have a nice day.